Welcome back to Classic Replay. Today, doing something a little different, I'm looking at the 32X version, this is the new version, of Doom Resurrection. For those that don't know, this is the 32X original. It was highly playable. Um, unfortunately, it didn't have the best audio uh, and sound effects. And as you can see, there was a big brick border around the outside of the screen. Now this wasn't a problem for me because I'd also played it on the PC on a 386SX and on that you had to have a border as well. But I just wanted to show what they've done with this new version. Nice intro there, quite impressive. And I've always been an advocate of the 32X hardware, just not its poor implementation. Geez, I've played Doom on pretty much everything. SNES, the Game Boy. I think I've even played it on the Speccy. There's some legendary names up there. John Carmack, John Romero, Dave Taylor, Sean Green. So nice of them to include. And then the 32X Doom Resurrection team. Victor, Joseph and Spoonie. You really have to give these guys some kudos, some respect and a big shout out for what they've done. So here it is, look at that, in full screen. The 32X didn't need borders. Now I'm playing this on Kega Fusion. It's multi-region, so it supports both PAL and NTSC. As you can hopefully see, it's faster, it looks better, and everything runs smoother. Apparently, it's running at 30 frames per second. Doom 32X Resurrection comes with eight game save slots and it automatically saves at the end of each level. And this version also comes with a 24 level expansion pack. And get this, apparently it restores sprite directions from the Jaguar version. No, I just read that out, I have no idea what it means. So if somebody can explain that to me without my eyes glazing over, good stuff. There's also support for using uh, the Sega mouse. Wow, I didn't even know that existed. I know the Dreamcast had uh, a mouse and keyboard, but not the 32X. So just look at the speed of this thing. Look how fast everything's zipping along. The programmers have also included support for three button and six button pads. In the option field, you can select always run is on. And I've got the EverDrive Pro and I've tested it and it works effortlessly, faultlessly on original hardware. And I'm just looking on the uh, romhacking.net website and so far, uh, this is patch version 1.4 and there's been 4,793 downloads. Way to go. This is really uh, smooth and really faithful to the PC original. There's split screen as well, deathmatch modes. You just wouldn't play the original over this. It's 32X Doom done the right way, the way it should have been done all those years ago. It's probably one of the best projects, hack projects I've seen. And if you're intrigued about owning a 32X, this is yet but another reason. Now if you want to play this game, you'll have to head over to romhacking.net and download the patch but you'll also need the original European ROM as well. Uh, obviously, I can't tell you where to get that, but Google is your friend. And there's also an online ROM patcher that you'll need once you've got both files, and you just select them and then, and then select continue, and it does it all for you in the background. Now, I'm not sure if it's my monitor or the output, but you do feel like you're moving around, running around in the dark sometimes, where on the PC version, I didn't have any issues like that. And I have messed about with the brightness, uh, but there's no, there doesn't seem to be any in-game brightness settings. But rest assured, this is as good as it gets. Until they decide to do Doom 2, that is. But I think like most people, I've played Doom on lots of other systems. Um, as you can see there on the top right, uh, the top one being the Super Nintendo, and then that bottom one there being the uh, Panasonic 3DO. Now the SNES version looks like it's running better, but I do remember the SNES version playing like a slideshow and thinking back then, oh God, this, this could have been a lot better. It was, if I'm honest, like wading through treacle. But despite all of its faults, I actually played it and enjoyed it. 
I think back then I was just desperate for a Doom fix. But can you believe it? They brought Doom out and Doom 2 on the Game Boy as well, the Game Boy Advance. I mean, the top one is Doom and the bottom one is Doom 2 uh, of the screenshots. And on the small screen, it plays amazing. And probably still one of the best reasons to keep alive your Game Boy Advance in uh, 2021. But this 32X version really captures the atmosphere of the PC original and the detail and the speed. Now, I know it's not running at anywhere near the pace of the PC version, but it feels like it is. I'll give you my word, I've played the PC version lots, and as you can see there, when you see the screenshots side by side, the PC version is a hell of a lot smoother. There's no question about it. But this is still a massive triumph for old hardware in 2021. There's no way a 32X would have competed with a high-end PC back in the day. No way. And that makes it even more special, playing a game as intended on the 32X. It was a flagship PC title. Now it starts to get a bit dark here, so you have to be really careful. But uh, I can't for, for the life of me uh, work out if that's my PC or if that's um, the way it's intended. I wish I could show you a video of me playing this on original hardware plugged into my 60 inch TV. But it just doesn't make for good media. And I know it's cliche, but you just have to be there. You have to see it uh, to, to understand it and uh, appreciate it a little bit more. I mean, look at that. It's, a, it's really dark. I don't remember it being this dark on, on the PC. But I don't mind it. It reminds me of Dark Forces. You can't beat that feeling of going into a room, running into a room, and narrowly avoiding death. <laughs> I'd also like to see Duke Nukem 3D converted to the 32X. After seeing this, I think it could do it, and it's one of the best games ever. Now the end of level screen uh, of Mars is missing uh, on this version, and you just get that green wallpaper effect, which is no biggie. I imagine they've got to save uh, massive amounts of space somehow. But the technical achievements are here for everybody to see, just in the running of the game. And playing this, it all comes flooding back, because I remember spending hours and hours um, playing through this level. It's, it's, it's good, it's good nostalgia. My only hope after watching this video is that maybe people out there, retro gaming fans, will give the 32X another chance, another try. Even if that's through emulation. But more importantly, give this a go. Honestly, I'm knee deep in monsters now and uh, it's starting to ramp up a bit. Need to work out. I remember how to get that blue orb just because um, it's a little bit darker than usual. Um, I'm just struggling my way around, which is kind of adding to the atmosphere a little, little bit, if that makes sense. And before I get inundated with a load of comments about that, I've tried all the different uh, brightness settings and this seems to be about the best one. If you go too bright, it makes things look a little bit garish. Oh, look at this, lambs to the slaughter. Have it. Come on, pick that from your mate's teeth. Loving the ultraviolence here. Can you imagine the impact this would have had on a kid? Now, the closest I probably got to this uh, was on the Amstrad CPC with Death Wish 3 or Barbarian. <laughs> Although Aliens from Electric Dreams, that was quite eerie and the atmosphere was really dark. But just the grunting noises alone in this game would have kept me up for weeks. I'd have had nightmares. And I'm 99.99% sure I wouldn't have gone out there rampaging with a shotgun. So Doom came out in 1994, 1993. So I'd have been 17, 18. And I did play the PC version, but it wasn't until probably 94 that I played the 32X version. And the thing to remember is the SNES version and the PlayStation version, and I think the others came out a lot later. I think the 3DO version came out in 96 or 97. And I think the Sega Saturn version, uh, the same year, 97. And they were awful compared to what you got on the 32X that came out in 94. I mean, certainly true of Europe. I think the 32X was the first official port. And then I seem to remember the Atari Jaguar uh, receiving a port a few weeks later or so. And I didn't play the Atari Jaguar version until recently, really, probably about four or five years ago. And I compared that to the 32X original and the Jaguar version, I think, played the better game, but didn't have all the you know, music and extra sound effects. 
But then thinking about it, even though the 32X had all that, it wasn't very good. I mean, I seem to remember it going something like... <laughs> but if I'm honest, I didn't really notice it all that much back in the day. I was just happy that we had Doom. Um, and uh, I was able to experience what people were experiencing on a PC for, you know, a couple of grand. So I think that's a wrap. I think what I'm trying to say here is this is absolutely brilliant. I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. I hope this is only just the beginning. There's so many games I look back at and think, God, they need a remake. Well, you know what? Just fixed. I know that probably sounds uh, far easier than actually done. Which is why I want to spread the word, because I'm really thankful to these guys for what they've done. And it would be great if uh, all FPS shooter nuts in the retro gaming community could experience this and enjoy it. But emulation's one thing. Experiencing this on real 32X hardware, for those that own the console back in the day, is the real dream. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you've liked it, please subscribe. Please also don't forget to share with other like-minded people. It would be great as well if you could leave a comment and don't forget to ring that bell for notifications of new videos. And for the 1,442 subscribers as of now, I'd like to thank you. And if there's anything you'd like me to cover, just drop me a comment. So until next time, thanks for watching and bye! Thank <laughs> you.